These last couple of weeks mark an important time in WDAY's history. We have special stories for our 70th anniversary all this month. We celebrated Dana for being here for 40 of those years last week. Tonight, we put Kevin Wallavand in the spotlight, who started at WDAY that same summer in 1983, 40 years ago. While so much has changed in his four decades here, his commitment to simply tell great stories has not. But I remember walking in, I remember Dewey Berquist was at his manual typewriter. Moving in. News Center 6 is scanning the skies using a... But then there was Marv, and there was Boyd Christensen, and so here were these legends at this legacy TV station whose call letters go back to the 1920s, and I thought, I'm going to work here. You know, a kid from a town of 40 people, and I get to work here. Hi, everybody. After being rained out for three straight days, the Minnesota Region 8 AA Baseball Championship... In the summer of 1983... Jack, you got some nice weather coming up this week. Yes. Ottertail County native and college senior Kevin Wallivant was seeing a childhood dream come true. Jordan will appear in district court tomorrow morning. Uh, growing up, we had uh, one TV channel in our house, and I, w I really was into um, current events. I would set up a cardboard box and pretend to read the news, or I would stand up and pretend I was a, a TV reporter and imitate them. Even though TV may not have been as glamorous as he might have imagined. You know, when I first started, you know, weighing 130 pounds, I had this TK76 camera, $70,000 camera on my shoulder that weighed like 30 pounds. Kevin quickly impressed with a curious and compassionate reporting style. Well, Austin has been quite a Over the years, his series and documentary work has taken this Ottertail County boy around the world. Good evening and welcome to Angola, Africa. It all started uh, going with a Fargo medical team to Peru and then we went to Vietnam, and then we went to Mongolia, and then we covered wars in Kosovo and Iraq, and then we were in Haiti, we were down at the border. This is Kevin Walvin at the border wall in Juarez, Mexico. Uh, we were in uh, Puerto Rico after a hurricane. We went and covered the space shuttle launch and Hurricane Katrina, so we, we went where the news was. South Sudan and Uganda, when there was a local angle. And while they are all memorable and many award-winning, in his storied career, there are moments and stories that stand out. Some come here to remember, others to heal. Good evening, and welcome to the mountains of central Vietnam. I, I think my favorite documentary was the, the Vietnam documentary where we went back with the uh, soldiers. Vietnam had just opened up, and we climbed this hill near Da Nang where a mother and son went to see where, you know, dad had died. The wind blew the ashes across the hill. It, it, it's probably the most emotional thing I've ever been on um, was that trip to that hill. Over 40 years, a Kevin Wallivan story has taken on its own meaning, and he says he never takes for granted the people who are willing to share their stories with him and our community. That's what's great about this job. You, you are connecting with families at a time in their life. It can be the, the happiest time in their life, celebrating a, a crazy wedding or a crazy anniversary, or it can be the worst time in your life. You know, you just lost a loved one suddenly or a, a, a tragic situation, and they're willing to sit down and tell you their story. We are near Oak Grove. Uh, For the man who is quick to turn the spotlight on everyone else, it's hard to believe four decades have passed. It's never been about the awards, and he has earned a lot of them over the years. Emmys, Edward R. Murrow's. For him, it's as simple as wanting to tell great stories. I, I never dreamed I'd be here this long. Think of the natural history these fossil hunters are working around. I, I didn't know what I was going to do, maybe b back at the gas station, right? Our family gas station where I started. But I never thought I'd be here 40 years, but man, what a great, fun time it's been. Reporting live, Kevin Wallabin, WDAY News. I can't, ima I can't imagine not telling stories right now. So yeah, my work's not done.
We have cried a lot of tears over <laughs> Kevin Wallace's <laughs> stories right on this de desk over the years and are so incredibly grateful and privileged to work with him every day. There's one thing you don't get in this business, but you have to earn, and that's trust. Right. Mm. And Kevin has that in spades. In spades, More than that. for sure. People will call him to do stories <laughs> at the worst time of their life. Yeah. Because they, they trust him. And he says that is the number one question he's asked and the number one way he gets his stories. Mm -hmm.